What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Evil Dead the Game video. Today I got some exciting news for you. A new interview just dropped with Ash Williams himself, Bruce Campbell, with the Game Awards own Jeff Keighley and Saber Interactive's Chief Creative Officer Tim Willits. Now this is a pretty short interview, only like eight minutes, but there are a few things in there that do stand out that I want to show you and talk about today. First of all, a real big one here that I think a lot of you have been asking about and looking forward to, the official confirmation that there will be single player in Evil Dead the game. We just don't exactly know what that will entail, but here's a clip that does confirm that single player will be in the game. Development's going well. You know, we are in the home stretch. You know, what's what's really exciting about this game is you know, it has so many different aspects to it. You got your asymmetrical PvP, you can play with your friends, and we even have a couple side missions where you can play by yourself. So we're adding a lot of content. You know, we really think that we can deliver kind of that full featured Evil Dead experience to, to all our fans that love the franchise. So we're, we're really excited about it. And we'll talk more specifics uh, soon as well. So he mentions just a couple of side missions where you can play by yourself. Now, that could mean a lot of things. Will it play similar to how single player challenges do in Friday the 13th, the game? Will this be like an Ash versus Evil Dead spinoff? Will it just be you versus bots? There was really no clarification on that statement there, but I'm sure there's a lot more news to come pretty rapidly at us as we're only two months away from this game dropping. No official release date yet, but we were told February, and assuming that they are on track, which it sounds like they are based on this interview, that's only two months away. It's crazy to think, but it's, it's right around the corner. Now, the next piece of this interview that I want to talk about is the different ashes. Now, we have seen that there is a young ash and an old ash, but we haven't actually been told how many ashes there are, how it will work playing as one over the other, and we kind of got both those answers in this interview. For one, we know that there will be four different Ash Williams characters that you can play. While it's not confirmed, we can kind of assume that that's going to be Evil Dead 1, Evil Dead 2, Army of Darkness, and then Ash versus Evil Dead. But now, we also know that these Ashes that you can play as will play differently, and they kind of have a class system that will affect your role in the game. You know, one of the cool things in this game is that there are four different Ashes uh, yeah. in there from uh, <laughs> yeah. four different eras. Which one would you main? Which, uh, which, which character do you think people should play with? Oh, I would do the old guy. He's got all the experience. A young guy doesn't know his ass from a hole in the ground. But that's the cool thing about the game. You can play other characters. You can play Possessed Ash. So it, it really is whatever your mood is when you play. One thing to add about the different Ashes, when you pick your Ash, he'll fall into a different category of class. You have your Leader, which is the old Ash, your Warriors, your Hunters, and your Support. So based on the Ash that you pick, you will, you will have a different uh, basic kind of class where you can help your, uh, your team win. So there's your confirmation that every Ash character in the game will have a different class and will affect your play style. Now, we don't exactly know how this class system works, but we do know that it's in play somehow. And we also don't know how you actually select to be Ash. Obviously, when playing on a team like this, people are probably going to be wanting to wield the chainsaw as Ash. But we already know that Kelly and Pomlo and Scott and Shell are also in the game. How does one become one of those characters versus being Ash? These are things we're going to learn here probably in the next couple months. And now last but not least in this interview, we did get a new look in game at Ash in a snow environment, which is super cool. In Unreal Engine 5, actually killing deadites in the snow, having that blood spread across the snow and get on your characters is just going to be so cool looking. Even seeing the snow on Ash's shirt here just shows what we're in for in terms of this graphical performance. And I'm extremely excited to see Deadites being slaughtered in the snow. I can't wait to get my hands on this game. It has been a very long buildup since Bruce first teased this a few years ago. And now they're only two months away. The butterflies are starting to settle. 
Can't wait to get my hands on it. Can't wait to play with you guys. Let me know your thoughts on this latest news for Evil Dead the Game in the comments below. But that's going to wrap up this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more updates like this one. And of course, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.